What's up guys, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how to find and add negative keywords into your AdWords campaign so you don't get screwed over by AdWords and spend a ton of money that you don't have to spend. Alright guys, so to get started first what we're going to do is find negative keywords and how we're going to do that is using Google's own keyword planner. Now if you never use it before, it's really simple. You do have to have an AdWords account to use it. So make sure when you log into it, you're, you're logging in with the email address that you have your AdWords account with. And it's really simple stuff. So basically, we're gonna put in the main, to find the negative keywords, what we're gonna do is put in the main keyword that we want to target. So for our campaign, that is white label PPC. So that's what we want to go after. So we're going to go for that. And now what Google's doing is going to show every single search term that it thinks our ad should show for related to what our main keyword is that we're going to be going after. And these are all great keywords. Okay, so here's something we here's stuff we don't want. Because we are looking for other agencies who want to run AdWords and outsource it. So we don't want to go and advertise our ads for people just looking for a pay-per-click management agency. So what we would do is take that and we'd add it to our negative list. This is a really generic keyword too. So we take that and add it. Now, because these are keyword modifiers, we're going to have to exact match negative them. So that would be just brackets like this. Because we don't want, like keywords we do want would be white label PPC agency. That's a great keyword. You know, if we phrase match out or just broad match out negative PPC agency, Google's never going to show our ads for white label stuff with this modifier on it. So we want to exact match, use brackets to make sure that when this is typed exactly into Google, PPC agency, PPC advertising, we don't want our ads to show for that because that's not what we're targeting. PPC management. And this is how you build a list, guys. These, these are exact. These are exact match. These will all be added to. And here, here's a little something different. So here's what we're going to phrase match. Because we don't want any keywords that have the word software in them. So exact match means your ads will never show for this exact keyword. Phrase match means your keywords will never show if this word is included anywhere in the string of keywords. So if someone searches for PPC software platform, PPC software, PPC software company, anything like that, if we're negativing out phrase match software, our ads are never going to show for that, which is exactly what we need. PPC campaign. We definitely want to cut out campaign. It's not very targeted to what we're looking to do. That would phrase match campaign as well. And again, these are all SEO. Here's another, here's a good one. We would phrase match SEO out because we don't want anything with SEO in it. Again, PPC management company. This would be exact match negative. Pay-per-click marketing, exact match negative. PPC expert, PPC ads. These are all this is a great keyword. This would be another ad group, though, for a reseller. AdWords campaign. That would be exact match out. All right, wouldn't show anyway because we're negating out campaign phrase match. Jobs. There's a good one. We don't want anything that has the word job in it. Bing. 
Let's latch out bang. Assuming we're only going after ad boards. You know what? That might not be a goal for us because we do get bang white label stuff. So we'll keep that open. This is more exact match negative. I'm, I'm obviously not going to grab all of them over here all day. But I'm just kind of giving you an idea of how you comb through and find negative keywords. Because these are all things that your ads will show for and they will waste a ton of money because they're not targeted. PPC Hero. So that's a brand. It's another pay-per-click company. It's also a blog. So let's just throw in Hero. White label marketing. I would exact match that because that's kind of broad. That could be SEO. That could be a lot of different things. Audit. Actually, we'll keep audit because that might be a good keyword. So you got to kind of think about these because think about a possible combination it could be white label PPC audit, and we want that. Cost per click. That's exact match negative. Got SEO, got rid of that. India is a good one. Can't spell today, guys. India. What is? That's huge. We don't want that. That's people just searching for a different. Things that we just don't want to show up for. Facebook, that's a good one. So do you kind of see what I'm doing here? How I'm picking it apart, but you got to be careful because you don't want to negative out good stuff. Strategy, <clears throat> meaning, these are all networks, news, those are all negatives. Reports, that's a negative. All right, so let's assume we comb through this entire thing. And guys, honestly, I would go all the way back. They're showing there's 362 keywords. Go, keep going page by page. Add them all. Trust me, in the long run, it's going to save you so much money, it's ridiculous. Because Google will show your ads for all this stuff that's totally relevant if you don't have it tightened down. So make sure that you're adding them. All right, let's see what we got so far. All right, so let's assume we got our huge giant list of keywords we spent the last hour going through and doing all that. Now we're going to add them into AdWords. So hold on for a second here, and we'll swap over to AdWords. So now we're back on our home page in Google AdWords, and what you're going to do simply is just find the campaign that we're dropping the negative keywords in. I've already opened mine. Click it. Come over to your tabs here in the navigation. Go into Keywords. You're going to see search keywords, negative keywords, search terms. Go into negative keywords. We already have a bunch in here, but we're going to drop these new ones in. Okay, so this is real simple. I mean, you just click the plus sign. We want to put them at the campaign level. And we're going to grab the ones we've made. Copy them. Paste them. Hit save. Ah, damn it. Okay, so obviously <laughs> it's not letting me save them because I did it in Notepad and it has a different format when you save stuff, so I have to go through and manually put them in like this. For some reason, the format doesn't match up, but that's fine. So you get the idea. You just paste your keywords in. Don't do it in Notepad. Save. Okay, there you go. So that's it. You can just save them. And that's literally all all you have to do to add negative keywords. And you're gonna save so much money because Google is not gonna be able to waste your it's not gonna be able to waste your clicks on crap. So let's see our search terms. So search terms are the raw search term, the actual typed in keyword in the Google search that your ad showed for. This is a great way to find other negative keywords too. So you can see software was in here before we negatived it. So here's a good one, review. We don't want that. 
So we're going to take review, go back to negative keywords, plus sign, add review, make sure it's not spaced there. There we go. So that's another great way you can add negative keywords. And, and every, every 7, 14, 30 days, whenever you start going through your search terms, we do it every, every couple of days, you just start adding in your negatives, and every week your campaign is going to get tightened down more and more and more until you're just, your cost per lead is going to drop, everything's going to drop. It's going to be awesome, and your campaign is going to kill it. So let me know if you guys use Keyword Planner to find negative keywords in the comments. I'm actually curious. There's a lot of tools out there people use. I found though that negative or that negative keywords are easiest to do in just keyword planner. Um, I like to personally just comb through like I showed you and pick out the keywords ver versus a software where you just put a keyword in and then it spits out like a thousand negatives. And it just it just takes too long to go through that in, in my opinion. So I'm curious to see what you guys do. Other than that, make sure you subscribe to our channel, like and share this video, and in the description links, check out our Facebook group. Join, it's cool. We'll show you some more advanced stuff, and hopefully I see you guys in there.